Hi. Welcome to Oddball Cards. Hey. Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards and your time. It is May 14, 2023. I woke up this morning to a very strange sight of David Pert in a very grotesque, strange costume. I said, David, what what are you doing? What are you dressed as? He said, well, you said that you were going to talk about gore this morning. I said, David, I said war. He said, but I'm already dressed up as a grotesque, barbaric, interplanetary warrior. And I have flowers because it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Everyone who is looking out for someone, uh, whether that's by blood, by necessity, my hat. Don't tell Clint, my hat goes off to you. All right. Boom, and 2023 is awesome. David also said, I wanted to I wanted to see what the world would look like without you. Here's an Alec Burleson rookie, a Gunnar Henderson rookie. I guess you save these Bowman rookies. They don't have a tremendous amount of value, but it is cool to see some guys that may be in a series two. You'd guess they would be. Uh, we need some more releases, top tops. Here's sights on September, Zach Veen. That's a pretty cool insert. Here's our first first. It's a Yoffrey Solano paper. Go there by Dicky Duck. A Ruben Santana first. A Yiner Fernandez first. Our Chrome, a Christian Vaquero prospect. And a Jason Chorio prospect. All right. Not super stoked about Chrome prospects. But he said, I wanted to be see what life would be without you. So I went back and put your mother in an alternate timeline. I said, that David, that's kind of weird, man. He said, and the weirdest part is I couldn't find you after I did that. I said, David, uh, you know why that is, don't you? Uh, I was surprised. Did not know the Cardinals are, is it five games under 500? Ten games under 500? I had just read that uh, they made um, Wilson Contreras the DH and not the catcher. So I don't know if they're blaming him for the pitching staff mismanagement or what's going on but goodness the saddest part is they'll find a way here's a little foreshadowing of this guy i've kind of heard of here all right there's something backwards but i don't think there's a great reason no it's just a number 87 carlos colmenares bowman scouts top 100 a william lugo first paper ariel almonte first paper a Marcus Lee Sang first. And here's our first Chrome. How did I get this so out of order? Kurt Snyder was calling me on the bat phone. All right. And a Gabriel Martinez first. Two guys with bats. That's what you like in Bowman. Nobody can cover up Babe Ruth. That is a game used Babe Ruth bat that I got in an auction for 20 bucks. Man, uh, priceless. This is a variation from my good friend, the mayor, Palsy. Love the Tops image variations. Big Yachty Air fan. I meant to have his war ready just to tweak uh, Clint's beak, but I didn't get it ready. All right, this episode is brought to you by Lewis S. Ray Guns. Uh, he's the number one Rays fan. He's giving guided tours of their dilapidated... Uh, facility and Nelson Velasquez rookie Chris Bryant Chris Bryant alert Chris Bryant alert don't talk to robots kids Christian Yelich here's a Shea Langoliers rookie Matthew Libertor rookie and man <clears throat> I'm knocking on some wood so it's gonna knock the camera the Yankees are flush with young infielder prospects they're starting Volpe Oswald Peraza is getting some time in left field, I think. DJ LeMayhew is bouncing around from DH third. Just pulled his uh, first chrome, Chase DeLauder, uh, and the other day. Here's a first paper of Randy DeJesus. Yay, another first chrome and another first chrome. Jesus Baez and Abel Bastidas. All right. 
I can't remember where I was putting them. Oh, literally right under my nose. All right. Sundays we do Q&As. Clint from Swingaway Sports Cards says, Why not more giant shine? I feel they are dope AF and have found their smooth glide and have arrived. They are not sus. Um, I should have been honest. Uh, that was actually a question... He is a Cade Cavalli rookie. It was a question from our good friend, something old, something new, the captain of the booty shakers, Lance. He said, can you do that thing where you make Clint talk in a funny voice in my head when he's talking? That's how he sounds. You nailed it, oddball. Plus, he sounds ridiculous. Hey, we are here to please, Lance. Keep uh, keep up the good work with the booty shakers. All right, Oscar Gonzalez rookie. Vaughn Grissom rookie. Awesome stuff. Here is a backwards one. Brito, look at that. And it's a first. That's ridiculous. This is our second retail box and second auto. Last time I was too excited to look, and I guess I didn't really want to know deep down that that guy was an 11th round draft pick. Uh, this one just says signed as a free agent in 2018. All right, we're going to have to consult the professor at North Coast Baseball again on... Uh, Juan Brito. We'll take it, though, especially since it's a first. Uh, Albert Pujols was a low-round pick, I think. Uh, I should have my ducks in a row before I speak, but I didn't, and I did it. All right. Sorry, Dicky Duck. You've had your shine. All right. But Clint wants to know uh, why I don't talk more about the Giants. The Giants have had a nice turnaround. I hope I don't jinx them. Here's a first Bowman of Cam Collier. Hey, and there's Juan Brito, speaking of the guy. Ryan Clifford first. Our Chrome, our Simon Juan, and Alex Ramirez prospects. Boo. All right. Alex Wood has a 2.5 war, Clint. We're really happy about that. You know who else has a 2.5 war? Uh, Wander Franco and uh, Shohei. So those are some good numbers. Um... I will admit war is strange. There is a relief pitcher, Yenier Cano, who has 19.2 scoreless innings. Here's a Logan Ohape, already hurt for the year, I think. That is sad. Man, I'm knocking things around here. There's a James Outman rookie. I think people are uh, realizing he's coming down to earth. Julio Rodriguez, Oswald Peraza, Francisco Lindor. And this is our Chrome Bowman Scouts of a Luis Matos. Speaking of San Francisco Giants. All right, so that's rarefied air. But that Yenier Cano also has a, a war about two. If you're new to the channel, I meant to tell you to please go find something else to do. But if you're still here, for context, uh, war is win above replacement. Like a, a normal dude you'd have to put in there if Ronnie Simon got hurt, for example. Ooh, another chrome first, Jorge Burgos and Pedro Ramirez. All right. That's more like it. That's what you buy this product for first. Of course, you want the big hits. But I couldn't find numbers. But in free agency, the guys that got a bunch of war uh, were paid roughly about 6.8. So let's round up to $7 million per war. So this is only part of the season. We all know Shohei Otani uh, is worth probably, well, more than $50 million a year, but it's probably going to get that. Garrett Mitchell, shout out to our good friend Kurt Snyder, who had picked him to do well. He was doing well and then is out for the year. Very sad. All right, Michael Harris, the second awesome player, knock on wood. Rafi Devers, I was thinking of Raphael for call. I guess I need some more coffee. Here's a bow nailer. Jackson Churio, Prospects on the Cusp. That's a cool insert. I mean, if if inserts can be cool, you know what I mean. Leandro Arias, first paper. Juan Olmos, first paper. And a Peyton Graham, first paper. Here's a Carlos Jorge, first. And a Brian Acuna, prospect. All right. So, our next question is from Chatty P. He said, why do you pretend Trout is an up-and-comer? It makes you sound cringy and not funny. Uh, well, that's a really good question, Chatty P. This morning, I had to go looking for Mike Trout. He actually has fallen outside the top 50 
war at a 1.2 war uh, do I think that this is the beginning of the end for trout no I think he if you built in a lab a dude that was gonna hit all the points offense defense batting average power uh, that he is a war machine lol lol all right uh, let's see here our next question comes from Glenn Hedgehogerston he said, uh, I'm with David Pert. I think that life would be better if you had been deleted from the timeline. Man, that's aggressive. Uh, we've done it before, and it was super fun. P.S. Are any Yankees in the top 50 war? Uh, Glenn, I don't know who you are, but it, you, you sound aggressive. Uh, boy, these are just two base Hall of Fame Orioles. Uh, Brooks Robinson and Kyle Ripken Jr. You can go the, there with the other future Hall of Famer. Here's a nice Nick Lodolo rookie. Uh, yeah, I'll just put, I'm going to put him here with the ones I'm going to sleeve. Pork roll is in there. Get that bread. And tons up midges. All right. 2000 ALDS. Okay, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to waste your time looking at it. All right. Uh, yes, Glenn, whoever you are. Uh, Garrett Cole has a 2.1 war. And our guy, Anthony Rizzo, former Cub great, is at 1.5 war. <clears throat> our last question comes from Jay Gore. He says, have you noticed all the former A's in the top 50? It's hard for me to write this question through all my tears. Sincerely, Jay Gore. Uh, unfortunately, Jay Gore, I did notice uh, that Marcus Simeon has a 2.2 war. Matt Chapman has a 2.3 war. Here's Seth Beer. Speaking of my good friend Jay Gore that I'm pretending not to know. Uh, he always talks about a beer and a burger. Two rookies from that set. Hats off to you. Wish it was an AIDS hat for you, my friend. Uh, Matt Chapman has a 2.3 war. Sean Murphy has a 1.7 war. And a lot of people forget about Sonny Gray, also an, a former A. Look at all these rookies in this pack. George Kirby, Ernie Clement. Uh, what's cooking is Hot Sauce. Osborne, our mini, is Salvi Perez. And that. All right. Lou Bob and Dustin May have a two-point war. As always, very few hedgehogs were harmed in the filming of this video. Toodles. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Rock. Test, 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 test. The hobbyist.